In this video, I'd like to show you how to process data from a Leica digital level in Trimble Business Center using data in the GSI format. So the first thing I'm going to do here is start a new project and select the template that I wish to use. And then it's simply a case of dragging and dropping the GSI file into the TBC plan view. So I'll go with quite a simple file to begin with. So it's going to drag and drop it in. The input format editor identifies the file contents as relating to a Leica GSI 8-bit file. You can see a preview of the, the source data in here and the structured information here. So if I tap import, the data will come into TBC and immediately the TBC level editor will open. And it shows me there's one leveling run in this GSI file. We've got the sum of the backsite distances here, the sum of the foresight distances here, the run misclosure, the run name, which can be changed if required. And it's possible here to enter the uh, specifications of the level, uh, standard error units per kilometer, or to specify the standard error on a per station setup basis. The table by default will show both the height of instrument or the computed height of collimation and also the delta elevation or the rise and fall if you're more familiar with that term. Depending on your preference you can turn that information these columns on and off using the show columns tick boxes down here. So I'm going to leave them both on for this video. The level editor is very easy to use. It's pretty self-explanatory. We've got the uh, first measured point name at the top here. We can see the backside staff measurement to that point. Over here we've got the initial starting level or assigned level for that location, that point, SS5, and it's given benchmark status. Reading down, then we've got a foresight to a point called CP1. Here's the foresight staff measurement here, uh, the delta elevation or the, the rise and fall, if you prefer, and here's the new uh, reduced level for point CP1. So the next row down, we have our backsite to CP1, the backsite staff measurement. We've got a new backsite, so we have a new height of collimation or height of instrument, uh, which is given here. Foresight to a point SS6. Here's our delta elevation. In this case, it's a rise, 347 mil, and a new reduced level, and so on and so on. And we can see that for each one of these points going down in the table, we have computed status for the newly reduced levels. At the bottom here, uh, the leveling run closes back onto SS5, so we can see the initial uh, computed misclosure here. Uh, it's well, just about uh, one and a half millimeters, so uh, very small. Uh, misclosure there. It's then possible to adjust the levels in the run based on the misclosure, although uh, distributing one and a half millimeters in this example isn't going to distribute a huge amount, but nevertheless uh, we can do that. Before performing the adjustment, let's have a look at a couple of the options at the bottom here. These really relate to TBC and potential further processing. So the creation options, when it creates new points in the TBC project from this levelling survey, can they be adjusted in a network adjustment? 
or will they be created as control coordinates that would be used as control reference in the project? If there's any descriptions in the incoming data, uh, the descriptions column in this data set is empty. But if there was, this would just help you decide what will happen with those descriptions with the data in TBC. So to adjust a leveling run, let's press adjust runs. There is only one run to adjust in this case. Tap OK. So we have the adjustment values showing in the correction column and we then have our adjusted levels here. Tap OK. Open the point manager in Trimble Business Center or the point spreadsheet and here we can see the adjusted levels for each of the points in the leveling run. Okay, let's look at another example. I'm just going to close that project and start a new one. Bring in a second GSI file. Okay, so this one has two runs. On the first one here, there's no misclosure showing. So it would suggest that it's not closing onto a point with a, a known level. So we scroll down to the bottom of the observations. We can see here there's a point F7, uh, which is a benchmark point. If we scroll up the data, yeah, F7 also occurs here. So it looks like a, a linear traverse from F4 to F7, and then a, a double level or a loop back to F7. There's then an additional observation uh, to a point 29, which is why there's no misclosure value showing up here, because 29 is in the benchmark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that and just delete that particular setup. So now for run 001, I have my misclosure. It closes on to a point with a known elevation and I would be able to go ahead and adjust the data. Where these yellow disks have appeared indicates that these point IDs or station names also occur in another run in the file. So yeah, there is another run, 0002, and these points, these stations also occur in run 002. So it would be possible to adjust these runs separately. If appropriate and desirable, you can also hit merge runs and merge the runs together to create a new run. So in this case, I'm just going to adjust the run separately. They're both ticked. Hit OK. So I get adjustments for run 002 and adjusted levels for the run 001. So now both runs have been adjusted. Tapping OK will bring the data into TBC. Now it's the point spreadsheet. We can see the adjusted levels shown in the elevation column for each of the points in the project that have been derived from the GSI file. So there we have the processing of the, the Leica GSI data in Trimble Business Center. It's also worth mentioning that you can also key in manual level observations from the level book into the TBC level editor. And of course, it also supports the Trimble DINI digital level formats. If you need any more info about processing level data in TBC, please get in touch using the information on the slide. Thanks for watching.